So I'm at Euston Station, it's Liverpool versus Man City, the biggest game of the season. Absolutely buzzing, nervous, anxious, excited, all the emotions you could think of. Uh, train leaving 20 minutes. Um, Got to get there relatively early. Um, we're going to arrive into Liverpool about quarter to five, so three hours will kick off. I think they might be a bit too late to welcome the bus properly, but we'll try. We'll get there as soon as we can. Um, we'll see how we get on. But other than that, getting in the ground early and just singing the heart out, I think that's all we can do tonight. Um, buzzing, buzzing. In the Adelphi Hotel in Liverpool, um, concerned about my compatriot. But look, um, kick off is approaching, two and a half hours left, and I'm thinking about putting a big old bet on us to qualify. Um, don't know why, but yeah, I just feel like it's at five for two. It's quite a good, uh, good price, and I'm yeah. building with confidence uh, as, as kickoff draws nearer. But I'm prob probably going to be um, wrong in that. But that, you know, it's a huge game, big, a big Liverpool travelling contingent on the train there. Um, the, the, the city's buzzing, everything's great, and let's get to the ground. <laughs>
got out of Anfield, uh, walking back into town and... There's, there's no words to sum that up really. Um, incredible. Uh, is it too early to start celebrating and you know, booking flights or thinking about booking flights? Uh, or, you know, thinking about the possibilities of where, who might get next? Uh, maybe. I'm going to run the set one again to the hotel because my lens is going to uh, get too wet here. But up the red. Back in the hotel, warm, um, dry and delighted, obviously. Oh, uh, I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to get this video live because uh, I've just remembered that there's no free Wi-Fi here in the Diadelphi Hotel, which I keep forgetting. Uh, but it is one of these. I don't think anyone really cares tonight. I think anyone that's in this city tonight will be out drinking, me included, in about an hour or so. Just need to kind of chill out for a minute and have a drink here and maybe edit some of this video. But... Um, what a win for Liverpool, 3-0, uh, I don't think any of us could have expected a margin like that. I did, foolishly, and my parents won't be happy if they see this, but I did put 80 quid on Liverpool to go through uh, at 5-2. to two. Uh, So I win 280 quid, and my logic was, uh, you know, it's expensive paying for all these, uh, it's expensive paying for all these games. And if we're going to get through this tie, I'm going to need to pay for more, so... 50 quid was put on to kind of, no, 100 quid, no, 80 quid, sorry, talking shit. 80 quid was put on at 5 for 2 to fund the next leg, or at least one of the legs, or maybe the, the flight, if we get through. So if now, you know, we, it looks like, you know, touch wood, we are through 280 quid, so that's 200 pound profit, so delighted. And, and if I'd have lost the bet, it would have been okay financially because, you know, I wouldn't have had to go to the semi final or final. But that's not what's important. What is important is. Liverpool have put in a, a European performance uh, that's you know what probably the best in in you have to go f back, back as far as maybe Inter Milan at home in two thousand and seven uh, you know maybe uh, oh, that two thousand eight I should say um, I don't know I, it, may, it might even be the best since kind of two thousand five it's against when you consider who it's against it's, it's a domestic European game. Um, you know, world class opposition, the, the best team in the Premier League, obviously, and one of the best Premier League teams of all time. And um, we've just, the, the first half, absolutely blown them away. And the second half was equally impressive for different reasons. The, the, the resilience, the, the, the concentration, uh, the fitness, uh, because City were coming and coming and coming, and we, we restricted them to no shots on target. Uh, I've not seen the game back. I've seen a couple of City fans moaning on Twitter about an offside on Sane, which maybe was wrong. Don't know. Um, and apparently Salah was offside or something for, for, for a goal, but all I, well, it, it was just sensational. I couldn't have dreamed tonight to be any better. So, so happy. The performances individually, I, I think it's probably quicker to read off the ones that weren't sensational because they, they were all so good. Trent Alexander-Arnold has taken some stick lately for his performances at Old Trafford and at Salah's Park. He was absolutely... He didn't put a foot wrong. He didn't put a foot wrong against the best left winger in the league, maybe. He... Uh, was faultless, absolutely faultless. Uh, Van Dijk and Lovren likewise. Robertson, as always, likewise. Henderson, I thought, was superb. Milner was great. Oxley chamberlain I, I just can't miss anyone out. Uh, Van Aldem came on and was really good in midfield, really strong. I was very concerned when Salah went off. I thought we'd lose all our attacking momentum, which we kind of did. We, we didn't have much of a threat once he went off. Um, but Van Aldem played an important role in, in stifling that City side, um, making sure De Bruyne didn't have too much time on the ball. Silva... Couldn't really get on the ball much tonight, which was crucial for us, obviously. Gundogan was completely, completely anonymous. Um, and, yeah, L L Laporte was just shit scared of most. Salah. Salah was ridiculous for that first half an hour. Uh, well, something special is happening. Something special is happening this season. We're huge favourites now to go through to the semi-finals. We may not. It's still... Not job done. There's still a big task to be done next Tuesday uh, in Manchester. But you got to just think, if we score, it's surely over. That means they would need five. So, long, long way to go. You know, if 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 you, if, if there's a team that can score three or four past you uh, at, at the home ground, it is Man City. So, let's not count our chickens. But I think we can all start to be counting our pennies for the semi-finals. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the game, your man of the match. Um, where were you? Where were you watching it? What What were you thinking? How did you celebrate? And uh, yeah, whether this goes up tonight or tomorrow, hopefully tonight, but I don't think that's likely, unfortunately. But either way, uh, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening, and I'll see you next time. Up the Reds.